she kind of jumped up, you know, maybe it was her brother coming back or something, we didn't know, she jumped up and I heard her say, what are you doing here, you can't be here, so I, that alarmed me, so I jumped up and that's when I seen Ralph come in with the gun, pointing towards us, and okay. he said, where is he? And he said, where is he? Yes. Ralph said that? Yes. Okay. Can you tell the judge how Ralph was holding it? Uh, holding it like you were going to shoot something. Okay. Kind of level? I mean, he yeah, he had posture like you were, you know, if you were going to shoot at something or, you know, basically had it to his shoulder, you know, in shooting position, I guess you might call it. She said, stay behind me, he won't shoot me. And um, you said he would appear to be trying to get around her to get to you. Is yeah, right? he was he was definitely trying to, you know, get the gun directed towards me. He was Cheyenne was kind of moving back and forth and around and at some point the firearm was discharged in my direction and that's when I, you know, immediately I was like I heard the gunshot and then all of a sudden blood was going everywhere and I felt really warm. I was like kind of shocked and there was so much blood at first I was like I don't think I'm gonna make it you know so I kind of went towards the back door and Cheyenne got really upset and kind of you know got I guess you'd call it hysterical and I believe she went towards Ralph and then I, after that I just exited the house because I figured I wasn't gonna make it very long I wasn't gonna just die in there so I kind of ran and once I got outside I just my idea was to run for help but I went back into the field and I had heard something or some reason I turned around to look behind me and I heard uh, uh, I seen a flash and I heard a gunshot my shirt was soaked with blood and I mean I just at that point I was almost getting cold because the blood that was on me was getting cold and everything but I mean that shirt was it was like stuck to me. It was so drenched, and you know, I, I've never been shot before, so I mean, of my experiences of hunting and stuff, when an animal loses that much blood and ran that far, they usually don't go too far. Okay. Plus, the area that it's in, I mean, everybody knows what arteries are in your neck. Yeah, you said Ralph was calling her a cheater and a whore, is that right? Correct. And can you describe as best you can for Judge Skipper, what was Ralph like? Like, what did, what was the look on his face? How did he sound? Was he loud, soft? That kind of stuff. Uh, he looked determined. Like, he looked serious, determined, like he meant business, basically. Can you tell Judge Skipper how you felt? I felt, like, I felt scared. I mean, if, normally I'm not really scared of people, but if somebody has a gun pointed at you, I was wondering when it was going to go off, basically. That's like the look on his face, I was like, oh, this, could, this gun can go off at any second.